Now we are going to turn on the system again. We've done it a few times, but what we're doing is booting up a uh, ProLiant G8 uh, DL360P, um, 3.5 drives, a few other things. I should probably, let me start it up and then we can talk more while it's doing things. Um, so, yeah, I've been talking about, we walked uh, a little bit through how to build an array and we have to, the operating system and what things we need to go through, but I'm just looking at the F keys right now. So the way I learn is just kind of um, systematically just going through my options. So you're going to see <laughs> this thing boot up for like, I don't know, the third or fourth time. So I don't know, and online it's always these sketchy like random like boot up things and sometimes no one's talking and you don't know what's happening and I'm just trying to uh I mean I don't I, I don't know so I'm learning it and I think the way I learn it is just going through each one of the different areas and and also I can go back to these recordings myself and see okay when I hit this this is the response and that's what I was looking for and you know it might be easier to find it in a video than it is in some of that for, you know detailed documentation or whatever so um so yeah, this thing's just basically right out of the box from um, Orange Computers on eBay, and I put it into the rack. It took a while to get the layout how I want it, and um, I think it's pretty clean. Uh, and I'm trying to build like almost like a, I don't know, it's a 4U system. It's the smallest, uh, most compact, uh, open frame rack I could find, and I think it's pretty fun. I like it. So I think the, the condensed space and just, I'm trying to condense as much power and cores and terabytes and, you know, switch capability uh, as I can. So, um, yeah. Yeah, we haven't even got into the switch yet. So, oh, here we go. I'm going to try the boot menu. I'm going to do F11. So, get a little time. So it's going to give you an opportunity right before the load bar ends to choose something. So... We just did the old F11. Uh, we've done uh, F9 and F10, which was our provisioning, which is, we're going to spend a lot more time in there, <laughs> but uh, I just want to see what uh, F9 is. And there's an F12 that pops up real quick, if you look, like, because I've you know, watched it a few times. So, um, I don't know, whatever that does. Okay, cool. So, oh, great. Okay, so I was talking about... Um, installing the operating system so I think if I come here I have to choose one of these um, to kind of start the boot from to actually get the server to recognize the, um, the operating system I'm gonna put it on a USB so I don't know yeah there you go, number three so uh, that's probably what we're gonna do at some point in time is just throw on the uh, we got to figure out figure out how to get that information, but uh, shouldn't be shouldn't be too hard. I have to get on my um, my computer, my actual laptop, and, and pull that information down. So yeah, this is the boot menu. Okay, very cool. Um, so yeah, it looks like you just hit one of these buttons to get to choose. Um, I can I don't have anything installed, so I don't think if I hit it, it would just say like can't find. Um, what it's looking for. Uh, if I override it, yeah, I'll just go in. Let's do the key drive that's not there. Okay. No key drive is there. I'm going to hit three. It's going to probably look for some stuff and come up empty if I had to guess. It's going to say, what? Okay, cool. So that's F10. The, uh, no, it's an F11? Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. It's F11. Just cut all this out. It's like a laser light shot on there. I don't know. Um, yeah, and it gets pretty loud, so... Uh, I don't think, so right now this is just a temporary setup for us, um, for me to kind of assemble this, this piece of hardware, but, um, ideally, 
yeah, it can't. It, it's it's uh, it's got to have its own own little area. Um, you know, it's just fine. It's just a power. I can always compare it to a sports car. It's just a powerful piece of equipment, and um, yeah, you just gotta you know put it in a. I don't know, I was going to say garage or basement or something, but... Oh, look at all that fun stuff I missed. Oh, sorry, I was talking, and I blew it. I blew it. Okay, I wanted to hit F12 to see. Let's see if we... Okay, so I hit F11 again. That was what I hit, and that got... F11 got that little thing to start spinning. So it looks like it's running through. It's asking... Um, I don't know. Seeing, seeing if anything's out there. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna have some options again. I'm gonna pay more attention this time, and I can do. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit the F12 because I've seen some of the other ones. So, and then after that, it'll give me an idea of like, okay, like here's, here are the areas that you can play in, and then we can go in each one of those areas and like actually do real work. I think some of the first videos, like, I mean, it wasn't even making sense. It's just kind of uh, me clicking through, and you can visually see stuff. And I'm trying to explain things, but I really don't know. So. Um, you know, take everything with the grain of salt, and I think what's nice about these is you can actually just watch it, and then when it's your time to make it, you just know exactly, um, the steps to take to do it. So you can, and I'm hoping that you can do some really cool stuff, like, I have a lot of big ambitions for <laughs> all the things this I can do. F9 or F10? One F12. Here, here's F12. Okay, I hit F12 once when it said 9 or 10, and then I hit... F12 again. I don't know what that does. I might just take you back to here. Yeah, maybe I just... <laughs> I'm like, uh, definition of crazy, doing the same thing, expecting different results. I think F12 just runs you through the boot cycle? Um, I don't know. I didn't see it. it went so fast, I didn't get a chance to read what it said. Um, so I'll let this run through one more time. If you're bored, go to, you know, you can turn me off, go do something else. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I come back and there's a uh, progress. Alright, this does take a second, so I wonder if I can override it here, I'll try it. So I'm hitting F nine, see if it does anything. No. I think once it's spinning F ten. I'm hitting F twelve. F eight. Okay, yep, so So is this man? Alright, let's see if we can get Okay, so I think uh, what we've learned here is once you get into the boot screen, it, it's just gonna keep asking like, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? So it's, it's, um, we need to give it something because uh, then when it makes the call, it'll, uh, we'll be able to take some additional steps. So. All right, learned a little bit. I'm turning this thing off. No one sees this thing spin. So I think when this is happening and spinning up, I just want to see if you can, if it's like timing and you bang on this thing if it does anything. So I'm just hitting F10 that takes you into the provisioning. Um, okay, that is not doing diddly squat. Uh, oh my goodness, I did. Oh, there you go, exit. Exited something. It broke the broke the connection. All right, man. I hate to do it. Like a rookie, dude. I'm just gonna hit the power button. Lame. All right. I gave up. I tried to hit some keys and do it. Sorry. Everyone's gonna say this is the wrong way to do it. I know it is, but broke it. <laughs> okay. Um. We're going to turn it back on and start again, so...